Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. Okay, thank you for joining us. So today we want to discuss on the tips before investing in fish farming. I know a lot of people that are going to be joining me today are already in the business. Uh, although some are getting it right, while some are yet to get it right. All right, so uh, it's your humble friend again, cool friend Francis. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you guys that I'm going to be coming live, but uh, as I used to say, something like this, I need to be live with you guys. So welcome to Fish Academy. Again, it's your humble friend, cool friend Francis. Okay, so tips before investing into fish farming. But before I begin to analyze those things, if this is the first time you are joining us, if this is the first time you are joining us, just check below this video, click on the subscribe button. Once you click on the subscribe button, endeavor to also click on the notification bell. This will enable you to be notified whenever we bring you new video. And if you like what you are, the program that we are bringing that we are bringing up to you this day, if you like what you are seeing, please endeavor to use the thumbs up button uh, to show us that you really appreciate what you are doing. Our number is right there on the screen, uh, plus 234806903539. Okay, so I've been told that um, the place is echoing. I'm going to see how I'm going to reduce that uh, so that it's not going to affect. Thank you for the feedback. So, what I'm going to do now, let me see how. All right, so I, I believe um, you, if, if this particular one is not that clear, subsequent time we are going to work uh, as regards, we're going to put fix, we are going to fix that so that uh, you can hear us clearly. But I don't know if it's still echoing, please let's get feedback. Is the audio and the video okay? I need feedback before I continue. Is the audio and the video okay thank you i need feedback all right so thank you very much please um okay okay thank you very much uh, uh okay I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna read this i'm gonna be reading your messages from here so let me go right there so that um it will be easier for me all right i'm gonna be reading your messages right here All right. So, um, all right. Okay. So, um, all right. So, uh, thank you very much, Abbas Said. Say is better. Thank you very, very much for the feedback. And Ambel, Ambel, we can't hear you proper. Um, sorry. We are. If you if you watch this particular place. Um, uh, we are going to set it up. That's why we need feedback. I promise you, in our next video, is going to be better than this. All right. So okay, okay. Akin Toya Osman, when is the right time to expand? When is the right time to expand? I, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to uh, answer your questions once it's time. All you need to do. Just endeavor you stay with us, and uh, you can also share this video with your friends in case you have anyone that wish to go into fish farming. You can actually call that person now to join us live on YouTube. You can also share this via your Facebook account or your Instagram or any of the social media platform, telling your friends and fellow fish farmers that Fish Academy is live. Also, I want to use this medium to also uh, uh, thank you, uh, all that have been sharing our videos. Uh, I've been rece uh, re re receiving a lot of calls and uh, people telling me that they were being referred, I mean, uh, as referral. So thank you for sharing our vi videos. Okay? So, okay? So, um, this is 
what is going to this one we are going to discuss. So please, as I said, the number is right on the screen. The number is right on the screen and the phone lines are open. In case you want to call us, you can call us via that number that is on the topic. Or if you don't want to call, you can likewise drop your message by uh, uh, using the comment box below this video. We are going to attend to all the questions. As you can see, we are going to attend to all the questions that are here. All right? So, tips before investing in fish farming. But please, I want to get the final feedback before I start proper. Are you getting me clearly? Is the audio okay? Am I too fast? Should I slow down the way I'm talking? Am I too fast? Is this still echoing? Because I want you to get me very, very well. Is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a class that you don't need to miss. You don't need to miss this class. It's a free, free online class. I'm not charging anybody for this. It's a free online class. All right. So, um, all right. The sound is okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, uh, it's clear. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Abbasai Bumi Taiwo says the audio is very clear. Thank you very much, Bumi. Uh, as I say, it's very clear. Alex Otante, yes. The audio and the visual is very clear. Thank you very much. Um, uh, please, okay, uh, Stan D said the, the, it is very clear. Thank you very much for the feedback. Do you provide online consultancy for cash, catfish farming? We are going to answer those questions for now. I'm trying to get feedback uh, as regards the audio and the video quality. All right, Ramsel Kadana says is very, okay, hello, hello, okay, thank you very much. Mariam Show says that the video and the audio is okay. So I'm, I'm satisfied with the feedback that I've gotten so far. I'm very, very satisfied. So thank you very much for your feedback. But I still promise you it will be, it's going to be better than this. You know, if you are joining us, it is, if you have been following us on our channel, you know that this particular one, uh, you can rate us if it is better than our previous live video or not. So you can rate us so that we can do better. Thank you very much. So tips before investing in fish farming. A lot of people have made mistakes going into fish farming and at the end of the day, they back off. They, they, they pack out of the business. Is, is something so, so unfortunate. And if you are one of those, today lesson is for you because immediately after this class, immediately after this uh, live class, I tell you, you are going to return to reopen your farm. I'm so, so happy because uh, regardless of all that is happened, all that is happening, uh, food is still something that is very, very vital. Regardless of the fact that they, they restrict movement, they do this, they restrict this, they restrict that, but they still allow movement of food, or, of, of food across borders. So, you know, farming is something that I've come to say. In case you are not, or in case you've not been thinking in that direction, then it is high, high time for you to begin to think in the direction of agriculture, of aquaculture. All right. So, as I said, a lot of people have made a lot of mistakes. I've visited so many farms. So far, I've visited a lot of farms, both in the northern part of Nigeria, in the southern part of Nigeria, where I reside, where our facility is, in the eastern part of Nigeria, and in the western part of Nigeria. I've been going around across all these borders, visited a lot of farms, and we have done a lot of remodeling in so many farms. Some of those, we don't even post them on our channel here. We've done a lot of construction, 
and uh, currently construction is even still ongoing as I speak, where we are constructing a ultra modern fish farm 2021 model. You are going to see that uh, once I'm able to cross border, okay? But that's not what I'm going to discuss. Tips before going into fish farming. Please, you need to get your barrel, get your pen, and your book because it's going to be very, very interactive. Get your pen and your book, you know, and when you are listening to things like this, you don't just listen without book and paper. I'm going to be doing everything because by, uh, I have them in build, okay? So even without me holding a paper like this, I'm going to tell you all that you need to know, all right? Something that you have paid for, but I'm giving it to you free. Uh, however, we are still going to be having a, a, a practical class. We are supposed to have a, some, a practical class this month, but due to what is happening now, we've postponed all practical classes that we are to hold across board, across borders. So that will be until the end of uh, what is happening right now globally. All right. So. Yeah, I, I believe you are with your barrel now. The first thing you will really need to consider going before uh, uh, going into fish farming is choice of location. Choice of location. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, before the end of this program, I'm going to answer all your questions and your greetings. I'm going to send all feedbacks. But let's go into business for those of you that don't have enough data. So let me strike the business at once. Then later on, I will answer the questions that are here. So first, I said choice of location, choice of site is something that is very, very important. Why do you need to? Uh, why do you need to? Uh, uh, to, to check for a good location before going to fish farming, I'm going to tell you that. A lot of uh, fish farmers go into fish farming without having where to discharge their wastewater, without having good access road where they can move their product in and out of their farm. So it becomes a very big problem. But why is site uh, choice of location very, very important? Yeah, it is very, very important because without a good site, without a good location for your farm, you end up going into problem even after construction, even after stocking your fish and getting to the time of harvest. Not be right from pre-stocking, you begin to have issue. Stocking time, you have issue. Post-stocking, you have issue because of choice of location. Okay, and for you not to have issue when you stock your fish or before stocking your fish, before even buying your land, choice of location is very, very important. Where should you get your land? First, try to get your land where you can easily discharge your waste water without it affecting anybody without it affecting the neighbors, your neighbors, without it affecting other people's farmland. That is the first thing you really need to consider. Second, try to get a land where you can easily access water. Water is something very, very important in fish farming. Without water, you cannot succeed in fish farming. I see people giving this video thumbs up. Yes, if you are just joining us, uh, if, you, if, if really I'm making a point, you give me a thumbs up. That's what I want to see. If really I'm making some point, click on the thumbs up button like this. Click on it, it's blue. Click on it until it turns to blue, and then you know that you've done that. All right, so people are clicking on the thumbs up button now. So, Water is something very, very important in fish farming. Without water, there is no fish. Without water, there is no fish. Okay? Fish don't live on land. They don't live in the air. They live inside the water. And there are types of fish 
we have the salt water fish and we have the fresh water fish. Okay? I repeat, we have the salt water fish and we have the fresh water fish. Okay? And then it's something that is now very, very important. Can you really grow a fresh water fish in a salt water? Or can you grow a salt water fish in a fresh water? All right. So when you know your water quality, then you know the type of fish that you have to grow inside that water. That is where uh, uh, water becomes very, very important in fish farming. Not just the quality of water, but the availability of water. Within some, uh, yeah, I, mean, I said I receive a lot of calls. Some people do call me and they said that they want to set up a fish farm. Where they want to set up a fish farm, they don't have access to water and they said they want to uh, be buying water in a true tanker. I, I've been telling them you cannot buy water to salvage your fish. You cannot buy water to run a commercial fish farm and see your gain. You can't see profit. You will see the water, you will see your fish, but you are not going to see profit. In every business, what you are looking out for is profit making, not for pleasure, not for uh, anything. If you really want to make a uh, profit, then all you need to do is for you to cut the cost of production. All right? So try and ensure that where you want to set up your farm, that land you want to buy, ensure it's somewhere where you can access water on the ground. Okay? That land you want to buy, ensure it's somewhere where you can drain your water without it affecting your people, your, your neighbors. That land you want to buy, ensure that it's in a secured environment. There are places that are not secured at all. And then you go there, you buy land, and at the end of the day, it becomes a problem. Ensure that that land that you want to buy for fish farming is in a place that is not prone to flood. Somewhere that flood will not come and go away with your fish. Regardless of the price of that land, because of what you want to use it for, don't just because it is very, very cheap, and then you go and buy, and at the end of the day, you regret. Don't buy land where flood, I repeat, flood will come and sweep away your fish. Before you get a land of fish farming, investigate very, very well. I once visited a site in Lagos, in Nogu State, yeah, uh, the, 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 uh, where someone gave someone money to buy land without him, and when the person bought the land, the person returned to the country to make use of the land. At the end of the day, he couldn't use the land because one, no way to discharge the water to them. Okay? It becomes a very big problem. So whether you are in the country, you are there or you are not there, whenever you want to ask someone to get a land where you want to use for fish farming, tell this person, send it as a note to him or her that the land must be somewhere we have flood. F L double O D. We have flood. You will not come and sweep away your fish. All right. And there should be good. There should be access roads to your farm. I'm going to explain why why road access road is very very important. I think I've dwelled so much on that. But I, if actually that point. If actually that point is okay, you've actually learned something there. I still have some good number of people viewing me now, but uh, it seems to be some people don't know where to click to show it to appreciate or not, all right? So as I said, in Fish Academy, we appreciate this and we also appreciate this. We appreciate your thumbs up and we also appreciate your thumb down. It helps us a lot. It's a feedback sign, all right? So if we are doing something good, please give us any of this feedback, all right? Second, yeah, thank you very much. I can see some uh, thumbs up right on the screen. I'm going to read your messages. Thank you. All right. So the second thing you really need to consider, what you, the second thing you really need to consider 
before going into fish farming, I've mentioned a choice of site, which is one. The second thing we really need to consider is the security, which I have also mentioned uh, when I was discussing choice of site. And I've told you, uh, okay, I didn't really expand shape why security uh, 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 is very, very important. Your land should be situated in a place where criminals, where thieves will not go to fish what you have grown for so many years. All right? So it should be in a terrain where people won't go to steal your fish. So it still falls into choice of site, choice of location. All right? So now that you've gotten your, your land, Yes, some people, having known this, let's say now you've gotten your land, you are satisfied with the discussion, and now you've purchased a land in a very good place, in a place where flood will not come and sweep away your fish, in a place where things will not come and go away with your fish, in a place where you can easily access water, you've gotten land in that place now. What is the next thing for you to do? Just of recent, I received a call from a friend in Anambra State, and he says, Francis Fish Academy, I'm having an issue. My boss, based outside the country, he so much trusts uh, this person, he gave a contract of the construction to one of his friends that do construction for him. And I don't like what that man is doing. Is the construction is, I mean, oh my God, that was what the person called. Okay? So, you have, you want to go into fish farming. You know, you know people that do construct houses. In fact, your house is your engineer that constructed it for you. It's your engineer that built your story building. He raised it, it was very, very okay. There was no issue. And then you said, fine. This my engineer knows how to construct. Why don't I take him so that he construct my concrete form? I tell you, you will, you, okay? I tell you, it will be a very big problem. So many people, so many engineers that construct houses have failed in the area of pond construction. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this based on sites that I have seen. So many engineers that are good in house construction have failed woefully in the area of pond construction. So, after getting your land, try to get people that are into it to do your construction. Why do I say so? There are bases, there are things that I need to be known before constructing a pond. Like now, I'm inside this place. All around me is air. Air. A-I-R. That is what is surrounding me. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to receive any call now until I'm true with this uh, the, uh, point, this particular point. In any ones I'm true with the point, I'm going to uh, open that. I'm going to uh, answer your calls. Okay, so please just hold on. Uh, I will receive your call. Okay, so you really need to get an expert to construct your home because there are things that are need to be done. Those things that are not done when you are raising up your living house. Those things, if those things are not done, I tell you, at the end of the day, you you end up regretting after spending a lot of money. You will end up regretting. In fact, you begin to say, oh my God, why did I venture into this? Who gets me into this? And you know what? At times, you begin to blame Fish Academy. I regret the day I stumbled upon Fish Academy channel. It has gotten me into this mess. Point of correction, I did not get you into any mess. That's why I said, get someone that is into the business to do the business for you. Get some a professional to do it. It might not be me, it might be another person, but let it be someone that is good in that profession. You don't hire 
people that are not good in a particular area of job and expect them to do that job very well. So if you don't do your stuff well, please, I didn't get, I did not get you into that mess. So that's why I said get the right people to do the right job. Alright, so after construction, there are other things that are to be done. And if you should get an expert to construct your pump, he will be able to guide you through to the point of stocking. Where your drainage, where your drain, your, your, your waste pipe is to be positioned and how is to be positioned. The person constructing your pond will be able to tell you that, will be able to fix that. Well, where the supply pipe should be and the diameter of each of the pipe, your engineer should be able to tell you this is the pipe that is good for this size of pond. All right? The other day, the project, the project that we are currently handling now in Imo State, I gave my quotation, we went to get the materials, and the person that sells said, ah, ah, this size of pipe, why do you want to use this pipe? It's too expensive. They don't use it for this. And I, 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 told, I told the person, hello, are you the engineer? Are you the one constructing? Why are you telling me what you don't know? He don't know. He wants to tell me the size of pipe I should use for what I do. So you don't allow people to, you don't, you get, when there is an expert, someone cannot just tell, convince an expert to do something that is not right. All right, the expert will always tell the person, this is the right pipe, okay? So I don't want to dwell much on that. So after constructing your pond, what do you really need to do? So many people make some, a, a lot of mistakes. After construction, they, they just go ahead to, hello, yes, it's not me. Most, most of the times, they don't call me, you know, when they want to stop their fish, you know. They only call me when the fish begin to die. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you the, the secret or the truth, what I've been observing. Yeah, so after construction, what they do is that they begin to call other people and maybe they happen to see fish that is very, very cheap. Fish that do not grow, but very, very cheap. And they call that person, hello, yes, uh, please give me 10,000 fish, 50,000 fish. Without treatment, without curing the pump, without doing anything, they bring in the fish and they stop. They just pump in water and they do what? They stop. You are very, very wrong. If that is uh, what you did I, and it was a concrete pond, you know that you lost a lot of fish. Someone now say, so I, yes, I can, I, can see, so I can hear someone say, oh, that was why my fish died. Yes, that is why, that was the reason you lost a lot of fish. After, immediately after stocking your newly constructed concrete pond. All right? So you have to wait, you have to cure. Don't be in a haste. If you want to be successful in business, though I do tell people, you can be fast gradually. I do tell you, gradual does not mean slow. Get it again, gradually. Gradual does not mean slow. Personally, I am fast gradually. You can also be very, very fast gradually. Even if gradual happens to be slow, it's not slow. I tell you again, gradual does not mean slow. You can be very, very fast gradually. Okay, you can be very very fast. You know, for those of you that did uh, graph in school, you see some sharp de uh, 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 decline, understand, and and uh, an ascension of lines in terms of when you, for those of you that did economy and other things, you know. So you can be fast, very gradually. All right. So what am I trying to say? Just try to avoid mistakes. Don't av avoid mistakes whenever you, are, you want to do, go into business. How do you avoid mistakes? How do you avoid mistakes? You avoid mistakes by making a lot of research. You avoid mistakes by getting experts, by uh, con consulting experts when need be. Don't just try. 
there are, there are some people that call me up, uh, fish academy. I want to go into fish farming, but I want to uh, start with 1,000, 1,000 fish. Let me see how the fish is going to be, if they are going to die or they are going to survive. Can, do you listen to yourself? If they are going to die or they are going to survive. No, 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 no. You, you don't need to plan to see the failure to, to see your failure. Plan to see your success. All right? You, actually, you might not really understand this point. Don't try and say, I, I want to see if this fish will survive. Certainly, you can start with 10,000 fish and go. You can start with 50,000. You can start with 100,000. You don't need to start with 1,000. If you have the finance, if you have the capital to do it big, don't start small. If you have the capital to do it big, I repeat, if you have the capital to start big, start very big. The bigger your capital of investments, the bigger the ROI, the bigger the return of investments. That is how it is. I repeat, the bigger the capital of investment, the bigger the return of investment. For someone that invests 1 million, 1 million naira, you call it any, any of your currency, just mention your own currency. For example, in Nigeria, you invest 1 million uh, naira. And another person invested, invests 10,000 naira. The profit after sales, after sales, the profit margin is going to be different. It's going to be different. The other, regardless of the fact that you invested one million, but when you do your calculation and you see that of your 10,000 and that of the one million, the fact that you invested one million will make more profit than you. But that does not mean that you should start small. Okay? <laughs> Am I contra I'm not trying to contradict myself. When I say starting small, with whatsoever you have, Start with it. A lot of people, a lot of persons have made mistakes saving all. Are you getting me? A lot of people have made mistakes saving all their money without investing. When I started business, when I started fish farming, I invested every cobo. Every cent, every dime, let me call it so that maybe I'll mention your own currency. I invested every naira that came to me. I forgo, I forgo pleasure. Understand? I'm saying this now for those of you that have a, a little bit, very small capital to invest. You have to, what you need to do is that. You have, if you want to go into fish farming, you really need to focus there, you know that you are doing fish farming. All right? You forgo some pleasure. I'm saying this for young guys. All right? But let me forget about that. So, I was thinking about getting expert to construct your pond. After constructing pond is treatment, which I have mentioned. And then after treatment, people ask me, people call me, ah, fish academy, how many bags of feed am I going to use to feed my fish so they grow to certain uh, so they grow to one kg? And how much am I going to use to grow this fish? I do receive a lot of calls as regards that. Okay? It takes about one kg of fish food for your food for your fish to attain. 1 kg. Did you write that down? It takes one about 1 kg of fish food for your fish feed for your fish to attain the weight of 1 kg. I'm talking about catfish. All right. Yes, 1. Yes, 1. 1 kg. 1 kg. Yes. And yes, yes, 1 kg. So, for one kg fish feed, it's not just food. I'm not saying you should go and do your gari 
and put it there one kg, and you get think that your fish will get to one kg. They will not. If you just get one kg of your cassava and begin to feed your fish, and your fish happen to eat it due to hunger, understand? And you think that you are going to attain one kg. It's a lie. All right. So this one kg fish feed that we are talking about is quality feed meant for fish. All right. Quality feed meant for fish. And uh, talking about feed, when you are doing, uh, when you are, when you want to feed your fish, please. A lot of people. There are a lot of people that don't buy, that don't, that don't produce feed for their fish. And there are also a lot of people that produce feed to their fish. This is as a regards of the capital that they have invested. There are people that, regardless of the fact that they are not producing feed in their own farm, they still make multi millions of naira from after harvest because of the capital that have been invested in that particular business. And there are people that, if you don't produce to feed your fish, you cannot make this, the profit that you are to make. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of these person that I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of these person that I usually say, I don't, I don't begin to tell you, you know, before, before now, people do come online and they tell you, yeah, invest, if you invest this amount, this is what you are going to get at the end of the day. If you invest this amount, this is what you are going to get at the end of the day. I'm telling you this so that you begin to do your own calculation. Do your own calculation. Don't allow me to begin to tell you if you invest 100,000 in the next six months, you are going to have 1 million naira. Eh? Don't allow someone to tell you that. Don't allow someone to tell you that if you invest uh, 10 million, that in the next six months, you are going to see 120 million. Don't allow anybody to tell you that. Do your calculation. I'm giving you the tips. Tips to successful fish farming. That is what I've just done. So, one kg. Also, if you are producing to feed your own fish feed, and you know how much it costs to have to get uh, one fish to one kg in naira, you can say 400 naira to 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 to, to get the fish feed. You know, for your fish to attain one kg. But when you produce to feed your fish, you end up cutting the cost of feeding by 50%. As I speak, in our facility in Portaco, we produce feed and we produce for our fish, and the fish are doing well. And for those of and a lot of people who have gotten uh, pellet machines from us, we send them formulas for feed production, their fish are doing well. They are now cutting cost of feeding them or maximizing profit. So why don't you think of maximizing profit? Why don't you think of cutting the cost of feeding uh, of production in your farm? Why don't you think that? You guys what you should be considering. Because the more your cost, the, the more the, the more the cost of production, the lower your profit, your the profit you're supposed to make. Okay? So try to cut cost. Then some people say, ah, the machine is very, very expensive. The machine is not expensive. Compared to the, the, the feed that you, are, that you are buying in the market, eh? the feed, the machine is very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. So if someone should say, bring social amount to get machine, that is not expensive. Calculate what it will cost you to feed, to buy 100 bags of fish feed. Calculate it, then compare it to the machine that is yours, that you used to produce. You know that, certainly, that you've actually you've made it. So the machine is not expensive. If you, if you can buy it, buy it. Remember, we sell all those pellet machines. I'm not saying that you should come and buy machines from us. I am not saying that. But if you want to buy from us, fine. We'll help you set it up and also give you a good formula that you will use to grow your fish faster. 
All right. So that is the aspect uh, But before I end the part, uh, aspect of feed, uh, 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 feeding, know that uh, in fish farming, fish feed takes seventy percent of total cost of production. Somebody, somebody is saying, "Wow!" Yes, it's wow, wow, wow. I mean, seventy percent. 70%, yes, yes, 70%. Feeding, the fish feed takes 70% of total cost of production. Imagine investing 70% in feeding, in feeding your fish. 70%. No, 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 no. As I said, I'm not, and I'm, 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 I can never clap for the companies that are producing fish feed. I'm, I'm, though they are doing their own business, you know, but um, I still say it, that price of fish feed should be brought low. Should be brought low. Should come down. The price of feed should come down. Yes, in case, I, I know a lot of people do watch me from different companies. I do receive some calls from different companies. I'm not going to mention any name or any company here. But if you are watching me, you are representing your company right now. You are representing your company that produces fish feed. Talk to your management. They should break down the price of fish feed so that the farmers, people, the farmers can also make profit from what they are doing. And also try to ensure that the quality or quality of feed is very, very okay. All right? So that people will not just invest without getting nothing. All right? So that is that. What I tried, the point I tried to make there was that feeding takes 70%. So when you produce to feed your fish, you end up cutting the cost of feeding by 50%. Therefore, using the cost of feeding now going to uh, uh, 35 percent of the total cost of production, just bring all those things down. You now see that you are now making a lot of profit. Somebody, somebody is saying, wow. Yes, wow, wow. Okay? And um, that is all about that. That is another tip. In fact, feeding, I don't know, I don't want to actually dwell, but if someone don't really tell you about feeding of fish, and the person is, is teaching, is, is trying to educate you in fish farming, and it doesn't tell you that uh, someone should be able to tell you the truth. Someone should, people should tell you the truth. Some people should learn to tell some people the truth. That's why when I receive some calls, maybe due to the voice or anything, someone said, ah, Fish Academy, ah, my name is Poof Fred Francis, that's my name. I want to buy fish. I want to buy 50,000 fingerlings. I want to buy 50,000 post fingerlings. I want to buy 50,000 juvenile. And I said, yes, you want to buy 50,000 post juveniles. Or I want to buy 50,000 juvenile. Sorry, what is the size of your home and how many do you have? For those of you that buy my fish, you know that I used to ask you those questions. What is the size of home? And some people begin to tell me, I have um, a, a 12 by 12 si feet size, uh, three. I want to stop the 50,000 fish. I tell you, sorry, that pond cannot take 50,000 fish. Okay? So, in case you deal with fish, you sell finger beans, when someone calls you and want to buy, please endeavor to educate the person before the person buy. You know, to buy, to buy fingerlings, to buy those fingerlings, is very, very cheap. It's not expensive at all, especially if you are buying our fish. It's not expensive at all compared to the fish that we give to you. Of recent, we, we showed the size of our, our own fish, all right, selling from fingerlings to jumbo. So if you are buying our own fish, people that get fish from us, they, they end up testifying. Ah, fish are telling you. I want to buy fish again, I want to buy again and again. So we have fish for you, okay? We have very good fish for you. Like today, I just received a call, you know, people, people are ordering for fish. So sorry, 
we are going to we 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 give you the fish, and one, once when we sell fish to our customers, we do follow up. We don't just sell fish and then we let it go. No, we don't let it go. We call from time to time, and if you don't call, we tell you please call us if your if your fish should have any issue. If one should drop because one of your fish dying, eh? In fact, it matters a lot to fish academy. So if one of your fish should die, one, I mean one, don't wait until three dies or four or five, and then you call me. If one of your fish should die, mean one, pick up my, your phone, call my number. Tell me, fish academy, I lost one fish today. Let me know how, how come. Okay? It's very, very important. Don't wait until all your fish die. Call me if one of your fish should drop. Okay? And um, why should you call me? Why should you call me if your fish should die? Because I sold that fish to you. So I, should, I wouldn't want to joke with you. I don't joke with your business. Okay? I don't joke with your business. Yes, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to begin to read the messages here soon. I'm going to begin to answer the the uh, the the, thing, the messages that are coming in now uh, very very soon. So but that was a feeling. So after I think it was choice before investing. I think that is something that is very very important. That is the key tips. Those are the tips you really need to know before investing in fish farming. And before going to into fish farming, also try to survey, do your market survey. If you want to do catfish, if you want to invest in catfish, try to know if your environment, especially if you are not bringing big, try to know if the people around you do eat catfish. I'm saying this in case maybe you don't, you should know, you know what I'm talking about. Try to, if you, if, you, if you grow, if your fish are not much, maybe you store just 50 pieces or 100 pieces for, for students or people that are just starting, people that have very low capital. Try to know, do your immediate environment, do your people, do your local government, your state, do they eat catfish? Do the religion, Permit the religion in that environment permits uh, the, 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 the citizens there to eat catfish, you know, before you venture into it, so that you will not grow, you will not invest in business, and at the end of the day, you don't see people to buy what you stock. Okay? So it's very, very important. So that is also another tip you need to know. And also, there are a lot of fish. Which fish do people buy most? It's not all about, ah, I want to stop this one. I want to stop this one. I want to stop this one. Which one do they really eat? Which one do people buy most? So that when you stop, you can also sell. Fish is like egg. Have you ever seen a, 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 a someone that, uh, that is into poultry farming saying, ah, I have egg, I don't know where to sell it to. You've not. There is market for fish. There is really a big market for fish. So you shouldn't be scared. Another thing, you don't need to, you don't need to look at your environment. I'm talking about tips before investing. You don't think that, that your neighbor is doing fish farming, your right hand neighbor is into fish farming, and your left hand neighbor is into fish farming, or that your front or backyard neighbor is into fish farming, shouldn't scare you. That should not scare you at all. It shouldn't scare you. There is market for the business. Don't say, ah, this one is doing it, this one is doing it. If I should do it, nobody will buy. They will buy. Go to where, go to farms. If you want, if you really want to know how fish farming is, go to farms. 
sits down there and go watch what do happen in that place. The influx of customers that do come in to buy fish. Most of the times, people don't say this. They don't say it out. Why? They don't want you to know. In Fish Academy, we want you to know. We want you to know A to Z. I see people giving this talk in talks up. We want you to know A to Z. In case you are just joining us, this is Fish Academy and it's your own friend, cool friend Francis, the CEO of First Fish Academy. You can also follow us on Instagram and our website will soon be launched and the date will be announced soon www.firstfishacademy.com Okay? I know a lot of people have visited the website already. So, you can begin to drop your questions now. The phone lines are now open. The phone lines are open. You can now call so that we answer your questions. When you call, please endeavor to reduce the volume of your television, of your computer set, or any device that you are viewing us from. But before the call, let me read the messages that I have received so far. All right. Let me read the messages that I have received so far. Abisek asks, do you provide consultancy for fish farming through online media I am from India. We have good market here for catfish. Yes, we provide online consultancy. For any of you that wish to consult, we do that. All right. I will also have... All right, I'm trying to... The messages are loading. Okay, okay. We have a call. Let's listen. If this call is for us or not. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. You are getting good day. We can hear you. Okay, can you hear Hello? Go ahead, we can hear you. Oh, we lost, we lost that call. Okay? So I'm going to return to the messages. All right, we have Akinta or Osman. Osman. Os, uh, Osman said, I'm afraid. Oh my God. Okay, I think calls are, calls are coming in. All right, so let's, as I said, let's pick some calls. Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Sorry, are you are you watching us live on YouTube now? Are you live on YouTube? Are you watching us live on YouTube? Okay, let's 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 do that. Let's do that. Like, like, you're not watching us live and then. Uh, All right. Sorry, we'll get back to you. Okay. I don't. All right. All right. We, we didn't we didn't get that. I think maybe we're going to just um, read the messages because we have a lot of echo. As I said, if you call us, try to reduce the volume of your of any device that you are using to reach us. Okay, Akintayo Osman said, I'm afraid of expanding. I still have ample space to double up. Why are you afraid of expanding? I think you really need to reach us. Why are you afraid of expanding? Have you not been making profit? Reach us through our, 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 our number that is right there on the screen so that you can tell us why you are afraid of expanding. All right, we also have advanced, advanced Fred. Advanced Fred, yes, thank you for joining us. 
um, flavorful ASEAN. Hello, watching from Finland. All right, thank you for viewing us from Finland. Also, SM, SM and Joseph, watching from Cameroon. Thank you for following us from Cameroon. And I is Cameroon today. Well, please, I would like to know if you have step by step how to construct a catfish uh, pond. Certainly, we have step by step uh, how you can construct your pond. We have it. Uh, you just need to contact us. Uh, also, Daniel Popo said, and, and also how to feed them. Yes, we have um, those stuff. He says, he's watching from Toronto, uh, Canada. All right. Following this channel, very useful. Yeah, thank you for uh, the feedback. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bob Lawson says he's going to be viewing our videos. Ibrahim Kazim. Ibrahim Kazim is watching from UK. Um, Ibrahim, how are you? I hope you are safe. Please, everybody should stay safe. And then, if you have a farm, go and stay in your farm. Personally, I, I, as I said in my last video, I have 99% 99 time for myself now being in the farm. Though, it's, uh, it's also affected somehow because of uh, the construction that we are handling in uh, in Imo State. Don't forget, the construction is still ongoing. An ultra more than 100,000 capacity fish farm, 2021 model. I'm going to show you whenever I go, I, 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 uh, I'm going to show you how that is going and where we've gotten to so far. Okay, Para Joe, say I love your lectures. Thank you very much, Para Joe. Black Touch, thank you very much. All right. Para Joe, yeah, there's a hill, hello from USA. Yeah, thank you for checking on us. Santa DK, what is the, which is the best feed? Right? You can contact us, we don't advertise feed on our channel. Para Joe, please, what is the name of the machine used for producing fish feed? How much? Pilot machine. Uh, Para Joe. You can also reach us by the number that is on the screen. The number also is on WhatsApp. You can reach us by WhatsApp. Do you have an ebook? Yes, we have an ebook. Um, Para, Para Joe, please send me your WhatsApp contact. As I said, Para, that the, what's the number that is on the screen, that is our WhatsApp number. Right, let's try to receive this call if it's clear now. Hello? 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 Yeah, good day. Uh, I said uh, that uh, the uh, Yeah. Uh, what did you say? The message is that one. That is the message. Please, what? what? Uh, yeah, immediately after the live broadcast, I am right now live on YouTube. Immediately after the broadcast, we're going to call you back so we discuss on that. Right. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Okay. So, so do we um, great. Great. Say so do we have do you have an ebook? Yes, there is an ebook. Para Joe says, say, okay, we've read that. Uh, Mutunga, Mutunga, see you soon in Cross River State of Nigeria. All right, I will be there if uh, invited. Look, Mutunga, I have six plots of land, but I don't have much capital to start all the plot. How would I uh, to start all the plot? Uh, Mutunga, start. Uh, with the capital that you have at hand, they are going to grow. All right, Bumi Daiwo, thanks so much. You have answered all my questions. Ah, oh, I'm so happy uh, that I've answered all your questions, Bumi Daiwo. Bumi Daiwo, we've not answered half of your questions. Watch more of our videos. 
for many questions, for many answers that you have not even imagined the questions. All right? All right. And as at the sake, what is the size of your palm in meters and the stocking density per tank? Stocking density per tank, the size of fish, uh, the quantity. All right? We're going to reach back to you on that. All right. How many times do we need to, ex to, to exchange the water? How do you manage nitrate and ammonia generation in tank? How we manage nitrate? How we manage uh, uh, nitrate and ammonia? You, you, we, we are going to um, uh, discuss that in our next video. All right? How? Okay, man. And uh, this guy has said a lot of questions. All these questions here are from him. Okay? So, also have uh, Adama. Adama, hello, cool friend. Thanks from Burkina Faso. Thank you very much for being us from Burkina Faso. And I is Burkina Faso today. I hope you are safe. Please remain safe. All right. I did Francis. Say I'm watching from Abuja. Thank you for watching us from Abuja. All right. How can I reach you, sir? I text you, all right, on WhatsApp. Yes, it's my WhatsApp number. I'm going to reply you after this uh, program. But let me uh, remind you all again that please, if you should send me a message on WhatsApp and your message is not given answer to immediately, if it is something that is very, very urgent, please endeavor to call. 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 It's very, very important. I don't ignore calls, but for messages, it might take time because of the number of messages that comes in every day. So, but even you should call, and even if it's something that you are discussing is very, very important, you can redirect me. Okay? If I'm free, I say, please, sir, I'm sending you a message on WhatsApp. I'm having an issue. I want to send you this. And I will go, but please, if you send me a message on WhatsApp or SMS, and I did not reply you on time, call, call, yes, call. All right, we have the Kema. We have, okay, we are of the root air. That's right, you understand this? All right, Hello Fish Academy, please, I'm Samuel Thompson. The crop, the core member that you promised to train for free this year in your last video. Okay, okay. I promise to train you for free. Certainly, um, uh, we are going to do that. Once we are done, once, once the issue affecting the world now is contained, and uh, we're going to, uh, please just keep following us whenever we announce a date for our practical training and they want to join us. Don't forget, this is just uh, a theory, theory. In Fish Academy, we do the practicals. Whenever we organize training, our training is not for us to come and stand like this and be talking to you. No. Whenever we organize training, we, we usually practical. And we are going to announce that once this lockdown of a thing is over, okay? We're going to announce that for training, okay? And uh, as I said, we'll be looking forward to have a lot of sponsors in case you want to sponsor us for your training. Or you want to keep this video alive. You can still sponsor the Fish Academy alive once you are doing. I want to support what you are doing with this so you can keep doing it. Fish Academy, your camera is like this. I want to support you with this. Use this to get camera. Use this to set this. Use this to, to get this. We in Fish Academy, we certainly appreciate that. Okay? We do you, we are going to use that to serve you better and to serve people better. So in case you are not, there are some certain things that you know we really need to get and we don't have it. You know, you can either that ah, free donation, we take it, okay? Alright. So I think those are the messages. Uh, Adama, thanks for all. Thank you, Adama. Those are the those are the messages. Those are the messages that I received. Those uh, are the messages that I received. So I thank you very much for staying with us. 
I know there are a lot of you that have been here with us right from when we started this uh, this program this evening. It's one hour into the program already. And in case you are just joining us, and you want to know the tips before investing in fish farming, please just go back, watch the video from the beginning, pick those points which are very, very helpful, and please take them seriously before going into fish farming. It will help you a lot. I say it again, if this is the first time you are joining us, there are a lot of videos on this channel that will help you. All you need to do is to just click on the subscribe button below this video in case you, if you are not yet a subscriber, if this is your first time of checking on us and you don't subscribe, or you have not been following us but don't know how to subscribe, check below the video, you will see a red subscribe button on your right hand side. Click on it. Once you click on it, and then to also turn on the notification bell, this will enable me to be notified whenever we upload new video. We have a lot of video that will really help you in this business. Till we come your way again, I remain your humble friend, cool friend Francis of Fish Academy. I love you. Bye.